Now, I promised when it comes to poise, I was going to talk about something beautiful called the bounce back. It's so important to bounce back from mistakes. But you know what? At this stage of your career, you've heard that time and time and time and time again. Here's the better part of the puzzle. Exactly how do you bounce back from those mistakes? And for those who think that bouncing back from mistakes is only reasonably important, consider this. You can take every player in the United States of America at the middle school, high school, collegiate, professional ranks and put them into two categories, two, huge, two groups. One group is huge over here. The other group that we'll get to in just a second, very small elite group over here. Now, in this first category, it is filled with players up and down the country, middle school, high school, college, pro. It's filled with players up and down the country who, after a big mistake or a piece of adversity, again, bad call, no call from a referee, they actually have less poise and less focus and less confidence than they had before that piece of adversity or before that mistake. Now, for some of you, you might say, well, Spence, that just makes me human, doesn't it? And my response is, yeah. That does just make you human, except for the, and I'm going to use this term respectfully, except for my Fruit Loops over here, okay? Because my Fruit Loops over here, and again, I use that term with maximum respect, they are very special. Because for this group of individuals, following a mistake, something weird happens in their mind. It's like it steals their mind. They actually have more poise, they're able to relax more, more focus and more confidence following that mistake. That type of athlete and that type of team is called the bounce back team. Very rare, very special. Reminds me of a player like Cheryl Swoops. Guess what she got to do in the early 90s? Think about this. In an NCAA game, she dropped 51 points. Impressive, right? Wow. But not nearly as impressive as the stat behind the stat. This is a true story. In this game, she missed her first nine shots. With all the pressure of the NCAAs on the line, if you and I are being honest with each other, you or I miss our first nine shots, for many of us, we're about to have a career worst performance in the NCAAs. Now, even though some may argue or say, Spence, if she was such a great bounce back athlete, why did it take her nine shots? And I can't answer that. But the beauty of something connecting and clicking in her mind between shot number nine and shot number 10, that all of a sudden she made the adjustments she, need to make, she, she need, needed to make at the time. She was actually able to relax and focus with laser-like efficiency. And her confidence some, somewhere between num, number nine and number 10 kicked into gear. She was able to make that adjustments. And great players make those adjustments.